Visitors of all ages come to Allwood Audubon in Dayton for hiking, bird watching, or just to spend time in nature. But since November 2021, a special family has made Allwood's hiking trails their home. Allwood is a nature sanctuary and farm of the National Audubon Society. And our mission is environmental education that connects children of all ages with nature, birds, wildlife, and bird-friendly farming. I really love the intersection between science, conservation, and art. And I think that if those things can work together, they can impact a much broader audience than any of those can individually. And so I think it's really exciting to have art at a place like Allwood. Thomas Dambo, this world-renowned recycle artist from Denmark, he's written this story called The Great Story of the Little People and the Giant Trolls. And what he's creating is a worldwide fairy tale. Everyone loves a fairy tale. This story is all about what the little people need to learn. We're, we're the little people. And I kind of love that perspective, you know, that we are the little people and the trolls are wise and they are teaching us. And so Thomas goes around the world making his trolls and sharing this message of wisdom from the trolls uh, to protect the earth, to take something that maybe you think is trash and make it something meaningful and something beautiful. And that's actually what he did with our trolls here. The name of the installation overall is the trolls that hatched an egg. The trolls are named BB, Bo, and Bodil, and all of their names start with the letter B because birds starts with the letter B. The story that Thomas wrote um, for Allwood's trolls really revolves around this cardinal, this bird that um, the trolls befriend. BB, the daughter, is out in the woods and she sees these metal things fall from the sky, and she also notices this metal bird that she thinks is a bird, but it's really an airplane because we're close to the Dayton airport. And these metal things falling from the sky were obviously the metal bird's eggs. And so she ran and got her mother and said, Mom, these metal eggs have fallen out of the sky. We've got to hatch them. So they go off and they build this giant troll nest and they put the eggs in there and they try to hatch them and nothing happens. So Bibi's very upset by this, and she thinks the only solution, really, is to go up in the sky and get that metal bird to come down and get her eggs. So she sneaks off into the woods and builds herself wings. She's been watching how the birds fly, so of course that's a little nod to the Wright brothers. And she goes up to the top of the hill by the prairie and takes off up into the sky to find the metal bird and bring her back down. So that's kind of the basics of the story um, of our trolls here at Allwood. All of the bodies are made out of old pallet wood. We collected thousands of sticks and, and pieces of logs, and we pulled grapevines from farms next door to us and all kinds of crazy things. And then Thomas built the faces of the trolls out of dollar store shelves he found in dumpster in, in Denmark. And so he built the faces and the feet in Denmark in his shop and then he shipped them to us on a container. And then when you opened up the doors, there were just giant faces and huge feet in the back of the trailer. So that was a lot of fun. Thomas likes to have a certain number of volunteers. Um, he's done this for years now. He knows what works well for him and his team. Our volunteers had a lot of different skills. They ranged in age from 18 to 81. Some of them were engineers, many were retired teachers, um, one was a college student, and they just brought this really fresh perspective and excitement that was very contagious. Nanita contacted my wife and said, hey, we've got this secret project coming up. Do you know anybody who likes to work with their hands and who likes to be outside? And uh, my wife said, I absolutely do. There's a lot of prefabrication that went into each troll. A couple of weeks were spent cutting up big water 
container palettes and painting those to be the wings and uh, all of the fur and the skin had to be cut down from pallet boards and things like that. The nest was a lot of fun to work on too. There's a lot of troll language carving around the nest and if I remember correctly, Thomas Dambo has a book about the trolls that has the troll language in it, so you could track down that book and translate the writing down at the nest and see what they had to say about it. Since I was retired, I was able to do about four days a week for the whole, I was here pretty much the whole month, yeah. And I, enjoy, I would have done more too, because it was very exciting to come every day and see the progression, because you really didn't know what they were going to look like when they were finished. The dad got finished first, Bo. My job for Bo was clean up on aisle five. I basically was asked to pick up all, I mean, when they're working, this crew's amazing. They're climbing all over the structure, and when they're working, there's wood flying everywhere. So I collected the wood, made sure to get everything out of the stream, and then <laughs> for some reason, I was put on stick patrol. So when they did the hair for all of the trolls, you were sent out into the woods and you had to collect fallen branches and then bring them back and cut them in certain sizes. And the next thing you know, you've got this gorgeous hairdo on Bo or on Mom to help with her hairdo. And then the one that's the funniest one is BB, the baby. I'd found a pine tree that had died. And I held it up and said, what do you think about this? And she's perfect. She stuck it right in the back of BB's hair. So if you go out there and you look around the backside of BB, there's this one wild hair pine tree sticking out. We've had just an incredible response from the public. I mean, our gate has gone up, I think something like 700% since the trolls opened last November. And I, I just love the reaction that the public's having. People are coming here from all over the country, all over the world. The trolls will be here at Allwood as long as we can maintain them and preserve them. And as Thomas says, someday they will go back to the earth. So I think they'll be here for several years at least. The takeaway from visiting the troll that hatched an egg is the belief that they can make something beautiful out of recycled materials or trash and that they too can do something to protect the earth, to preserve the earth, and to cherish the earth. We only get one. <laughs>